YouTube, what's up and what he do? Is you got done back in with them packs in, and you're now tuned into another Sneaker Done 11 YouTube review. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. And if you've already been a part of the squad, welcome back. Today, we have a very rare and exclusive pair of kicks in the building. As I already know y'all seen from the title and as well from the thumbnail. Now, this has to be a replacement box, I believe. But the kicks we're going to be taking a look at is the Air Jordan 4 Undefeated. Now, I'm going to give y'all guys a look in on that actual tag. And y'all can see I picked them up in a size 11, which is my true size. Let's get into the underlid and take a look at these lovely kicks that we have in the building. They come from my guys over BAM. He's kick.ru. Now, if you're ever in the market to get a high quality pair of kicks, hit my guys up and let them know that I sent y'all. We're going to get into the inside of the box where we have this lovely sneaker bag that almost reminds me of like something that the barbers carry around their clippers in. Nonetheless, you have that undefeated logo on the bag and we have some writing right here that lets you know undefeated in short in case. Let's get into this bag man, so we can take a look at these beauties that I have in here. Now, we have the undefeated Jordan 4 in the building. Give y'all guys a 360 of that right foot. And I'm gonna pull the other kick out the box. We're gonna go over this pair and hold. And I'm gonna give y'all some of my thoughts and opinions on these kicks that we have in the video. Now, bruh, when I tell y'all this shoe is so dope in hand, I'm talking about this shoe is dope in hand. Now, when I first seen images of this kick, it kind of like gave me the vibes of this being like a mocha color, but this is actually a dark and deep olive that we're looking at on this particular pair right here. Now, for those of y'all who don't know and want to know the fun facts, this is the first sneaker boutique collaboration that we ever seen with Jordan Brand. And it's a lovely first collaboration in my opinion. The sneaker implements military aesthetics with that all over olive and that black, giving us the look of that fatigue, you know what I'm saying, type of vibe that we get on these kicks. And it was modeled after one of those flight jackets, you know, the ones that used to be popping. They always been around, but they was very, very popular in the streets in like the early 2000s. I'm gonna have like an image over here in my left side of the screen to let y'all see what I'm talking about. But overall, I'm going to give y'all a look in on this sneaker. We have a nice vibe going on with a predominantly black outer sole on the kicks. And we have that orange around this portion of the foot. And in the center, we have the orange on that jump man. Yes, yes, looking so good. And you know, the bottom is just a standard herringbone traction Jordan for a bottom. Getting up to the mid sole. We have it in that black, pretty much, and we have like a cream. It almost kind of looked at like a light olive, but I believe this is a cream on the actual back half of the kicks. And inside that air unit is looking so good and clean and clear, and we can see that orange up in there looking real, real good. Now, the upper of this kick, it features a nice and beautiful new buck material man and we can see how it look it got a lot of that transition that a lot of people like in there man look at it look at that beautiful transition that we got you know what i'm saying it looks so so good and the material feels so soft to the touch we can see the wing in that black and we can see the waffle lace lids in that black let y'all get an overall look in to see that all six of those holes are punched out where the laces go through it. And on that Cajun, we can see more of that green and we can see a green material in the backdrop looking very clean. All of the stitching is looking good on this particular pair that I have in hand. And let me give you guys an overlook at that front and that toe box is looking so good and so beautiful. One more touch on that nice premium new buck. 
Now the laces, we can see them in that green and we do get a couple of extra sets, which I'll let y'all see on the left foot. That is the orange and the black. I'm gonna let y'all see it when I get to the left foot though. And we have that netting running all the way up to the top of the tongue where we can see like a satin like smooth filling upper on this tongue. Now, one of the dopest features that I feel like we have on this particular kick is that we get a Velcro tip of the tongue where that patch is, but I'm gonna let y'all see that iconic jump man in that orange and we can see a blacked out flight on the top of the tongue as well. And when you pull that Velcro off, that's right, it's functionable, it's functionable. It looked like that. And under there, you can see Jordan Rare Air. Now, you know, from a lot of images, I see a lot of guys, they flip the Velcro upside down, put it like that and all that. But for me, I might just rock mass, you know what I'm saying? Straight up on there, you know, the correct way that it came from when I unboxed them. But I just wanted to let y'all see that it is a functionable top tab on the kick now getting around to the back of the kick we can see it with the iconic jump man and a blacked out back tab and i love it when we get this style of back tab on the l jordan fours it gives me like a premium type of feel with that new buck back tab and it does go down and it comes back up as well for those of y'all who want to see that everything's looking good and lining up on the inside of the tongue we can see the undefeated on that inner tail of the tongue upside down. And we have an orange inner inside that tongue. And as for the sock liner, we can see it in the black. The insole, we have it in that orange with the black jump man. Now, getting back around to this medial side of the kick, and it looks very, very the same as the lateral side of the kick. Beautiful kicks in my opinion, man. Let's take a look at the left kick and I'm gonna give y'all guys a view on that. Like I said, these do come with a three lace option. Installed in the kicks is the green and we can see the orange laces and we can see the black laces right here. Overall, the left kick is just as beautiful as that right kick. All the stitching looking good, quality detail and the structure is on point when it comes to these kicks now just you know looking at these kicks man these released in 2005 and when they released these kicks at the undefeated boutique we only seen like around 70 maybe like 72 pairs of these released some was like you had to hit on the in-store raffle then they released some in like a full family size run online the remaining of the kicks went out to like friends and family so when i'm talking about very rare and exclusive i mean a very rare and exclusive kick that i'm happy to get my hands on man now like i said this does come from across the water from over at he's kicks now the one thing i love about the plugs from across that water is that you can get your hand on iconic kicks like this that's what make going over to the other guys you know what i'm saying the third party like across that water to get these kicks so good because high-end designer and kicks like this that you probably won't get your hand on unless you hit those guys up you can get them from them very good looking and cleanse kick in my opinion i feel like this was like the travis scott of that time in 2005 now we see travis scott he releases a lot of kicks that look very very similar to this color right here when it comes to that dark olive and that mocha and all of that but y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on this particular pair that i have in hand down in the comments i'm gonna get y'all a on foot look of these other than that it's been you got done i'm out for this one i love y'all i'm out peace